Michigan is playing a starring role in a bizarre tale about a baby kidnapped from a Chicago hospital 55 years ago. We have learned tonight that the man, stolen as an infant from his mom's hospital room in 1964, has been found living in Michigan. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples has been talking with the FBI and is here now to unravel this unusual story. The FBI Susan. is confirming that it has an ongoing investigation, but it's being tight-lipped otherwise. Here is what we can tell you right now. Paul Joseph Franzak, missing for 55 years, has been located living in rural Michigan. We do not know his exact location as of yet. Paul Franzak was born in 1964 in a Chicago hospital, but the next day, a woman posing as a nurse stole him, touching off a massive manhunt. Two years later, in 1966, the FBI contacted the devastated parents in Chicago to say a toddler who'd been found abandoned in a Newark, New Jersey shopping center might be their missing son. Ultimately, the Franzaks adopted that New Jersey toddler, though physical evidence that he was their missing son was slim. Jump forward to 2012, the man who grew up as Paul Franzak, now living in Nevada, bought a DNA test from a drugstore. The parents who raised him as their own were visiting him when he broached the subject. You'll hear first from that man, then from the genealogist who helped him discover his true identity. And I said, hey, by the way, have you guys ever really thought if I was yours? You know, kind of making, <laughs> making a joke of it, you know? They're like, yeah, we thought about it. I'm like, hold on. I went and got the DNA kit, brought it out, and five minutes later, we're swabbing away. My team and I have worked on this case every single day for the last year and a half. It might have been just a few emails a day, uh, a few minutes of time, or it might have been 18 hours a day, which believe me, many times it was. It's been an incredibly long road with unbelievable twists and turns. C.C. Moore's organization, the DNA Detectives, helped the man who grew up as Paul Franzak discover his own real identity. Again, he's now in Nevada. And now, news that genealogy testing has identified the real Paul Franzak, the baby kidnapped in 1964, as a man who's living now in Michigan. We know he has been told his true identity, the gentleman in Michigan, and that he lives in a rural part of the state, but he is not ready to go public. The FBI does tell me, again, it has has reopened its investigation into that kidnapping. It reopened it a few years ago, and it is ongoing. But the FBI would not tell me any additional information. If we get more, we will certainly update you right away. You'll find several stories right now at woodtv.com from our sister station in Las Vegas that broke this story. Investigative reporter George Knapp has been tracking it for years. It's a fascinating journey. I'm Target 8 investigator Susan Samples.